right. Um, I got this question from an old friend. I would say, <laughs> I would say, old friend. Uh, uh, we dated. We dated for some time, and uh, we have we have had our ups and downs. But we have kept in touch after we had a very bitter kind of uh, breakup. But um, yeah, you know, she reached out and she said she is a changed person. And uh, ever since we have been friends, so she sent me a question uh, from Dubai. How do you deal with assholes <laughs> at workplace who sabotage and shit, especially when they figure out you are a potential competition? Okay, uh, I'll not give you uh, background about her, but I would tell you that uh, she is a very creative individual. She is in a very creative industry, and um, she is also a, a gamer. Okay, she. She plays video games, so she is not the typical female, um, you know, who plays with dolls and all that. She is very creative. She has experimented as being a freelancer. Uh, she's also, uh, as far as I know, she has tried her hand in, you know, various media, social media enterprise, uh, kind of service-related uh, jobs. Okay, so now. She is also working, uh, providing a service to companies, and she is also, you know, she is a person with many roles and hats. So she asked me, "How do you deal with assholes at the workplace? Okay, who sabotage shit, and you know, uh, especially when they figure out you're a potential uh, competitor." Okay, now I'll break it down into segments. I'll break it down into segments, and I hope uh, I'm able to offer value and perspective. Now. First things first. You need to understand that when you are in a when you are in a corporate world, when you are working, every single person is your competitor. Every single person is out there to get a piece of the pie, or is there to uh, get your promotion, or is there to get the salary increment? Because remember. If all of you are at a particular level, it's like a pyramid shape, na. No? So if there are ten here, there'll be five here. There'll be three. There'll be two. There'll be one. So if growth has to take place between you ten, one among you ten would, you know, or few among the ten, or let's say half would move to the next level. So you can't afford to be a friend, even though you can be cordial, you can be nice, uh, but you're never a friend. And um, yeah, I know you will say that. Yeah, they don't have to be nice, but they don't have to be an asshole. To that, I would say that um, you're lucky that you are able to identify who your friends are, who your enemies are, and it's very important to know who your enemies are because the last thing you need is, like this, you know, uh, wolf in sheep's clothing. So it's much better that they are letting you know that. Like how you put, they are assholes or they are pieces of shit, because at least you know this is who they really are. I mean, in so many companies, you get people with, a, like in, Tha in Thailand, they say he has a sweet mouth. Means they give you sugary sweet, uh, you know, feel good statements. They make you feel as if they will be your friend for the rest of your life, and uh, it's only when you are going through the deepest, darkest. Uh, most depressive states of your life. Do you really get to see their true colors? And that is even worse. So, right at the outset, I would say that you're lucky that you're able. They are showing you their true colors. So now you know where they stand and uh, who they are, who they really are. But remember, this is the case with any organization. This is the case with any any individual. Now, the reason why they would be Bad to you, or they would be like you said, assholes, is because maybe they see you as a bigger threat. The bigger the threat uh, is, the more vindictive they tend to be. Now, if in case you are very powerful and you are well connected, they would not be vindictive towards you because they would know that if I am going to be bad with this person, the person can be worse with me. Okay, so they most probably know that you do not have contacts and connections, and you can't harm them. 
so there they are not afraid and uh, they are not afraid because they know that you can't do anything okay other than be a competitor now um over here also you'll face another problem now remember in every company in every organization people have to work together to make things happen so now if you are not able to work together as a team and you are not cohesive then the manager the person who is senior to you would have to decide do i take this group where there are 10 people together or do i choose this individual who is alone so if you have a group of people supporting you and rallying behind you then you are safe but if the majority are on one side and you are on the other side the manager would obviously say that listen i can't support you even if you are right because then i'll have a mutiny on my hands i'll have the majority who will refuse to do the work and not cooperate and i can't lose you know 10 people just for you so keep that in mind and this what i will say next may piss you off a little bit but always keep in mind that failure to make other people like you or failure to uh at least make other people want to work with you is not their failure it is yours and uh, the reason for this is i have mentored and coached many people over the years there are people who are just incorrigible uh, there are people who are just you can't tolerate them as an office colleague or as a friend in fact you don't have to look very far it's me myself i've never got along with people who are for lack of a better word mediocre or uh, compliant or the nicey nicey guy i've always been a rebel and you know me from many years whenever i used to take part in events i used to take charge i wanted to be in charge i didn't want to be just another team player i wanted to be the most important guy for the management and i wanted to manage everyone else under me i never got along with someone who uh, was equal to me or was a competitor i had to take charge it was just me you know my way or the highway and you know that because you have seen me work in different different projects so i never got along and uh, if i did work in a team um sooner or later they would be like uh, he's not a team player we don't like him he's not very likable he's too brash he's too rude the management would like me because i was hyper aggressive and uh, i took charge and i made their lives easier but if you are talking of an organization that wanted a team spirit or everyone work together with kumbaya and we all hold hands and sing together i would never fit into that organization so i see you as an outlier i see you as a person who maybe cannot get along with lots of people because you're just like me you are a rebel um you always dare to differ and because you are obsessed about your work and i'm very sure you definitely show results i do not know whether you are the best in what you do but i would like to believe that given um you have been fighting all these battles alone you work alone and you thrive being alone uh so yes uh i don't think they would work get along well with you and also one last point um you know the fact is that the corporate world is predominantly male oriented it is male driven male dominated so men have a chip on their shoulder it's a male ego like even i if i see a female driving it's always known that men are better drivers than females it's it's a fact it's motor skills it's how uh the biology is like men are physically stronger women are mentally and emotionally stronger so there are some clichés but there is a element of truth in it okay so men they have their that male chauvinistic pride or the male ego driven egocentric uh, kind of uh, pride which is very sensitive so they obviously would not accept being threatened by a female so the boys would come together to eliminate a female who they think is maybe better than them or they think is a threat so keep that also in mind 
And one final thing which I will tell you is um, you have to take personal responsibility and accountability for the fact that, remember, you're also doing something to get a particular response. I'll give you an example. My cousin's sister, she is she has operated at the very highest level, um, like a C-level executive for a multinational company. And she was the only female at uh, the top three layers, which, you know, the CEO is one. Below that, there are layers, like below the CEO. The, you know, it's, it's like uh, the C-level. Um, she was the only female in, among all these males. And uh, she faced, you know, the same challenges as a normal female would. Like, they prefer giving promotions to men. They give, prefer giving opportunities to men. Women were always looked down upon. So she faced all this. And yes, there were some other idiots who were gossipy and all that. But she managed to control most of them. And she kept most of them at bay. She would not engage in chit-chat. She would not talk to them apart from work, nothing else. She was very polite, but very firm. Anyone would come and talk to her, hey, hi, how are you doing? She would just say, I'm busy. Is there anything specific that you need? And she really managed it very well to the extent whereby even though, even though um, they wanted to make an all-male kind of uh, a department, they definitely took her because nobody could replace her in terms of value. But not only that, People knew for a fact she was all business. She was all work. She didn't take part in chit-chatting, gossip, friends outside the workplace. She kept it strictly business. And she was not the type who would work longer hours than what was needed. Most of them would spend lots of time in the office, unnecessary time, even come during days off. She only worked the number of hours that she was paid. She never came during holidays and all that. If there was extra work, she would always make sure it was completed. So I saw in her the leadership traits and qualities that made her stand out. And to this date, after you know they shut down operations and all that, she now joined a new company. And over there also, she operates with the same uh, principles. And uh, even though there's a lot of ass kissing going on, she doesn't indulge in this at all. Yes, there are drawbacks that you know in in organizations where there is promotion if you kiss ass and you grow. She has chosen because of her age now and uh, she even refused certain promotions. So if I were to summarize and tell you, uh, it would just be that maybe you have certain limitations in terms of your personality, in terms of the style of working. So maybe you don't fit into that corporate culture. So you'll have to figure out ways. And if it becomes unbearable, then I think you definitely should you know count your losses and uh, take it as collateral damage whatever you contributed and move on because end of the day if you don't have peace of mind where you're working and you can't get along with them and you know for a fact you can't get along then you know best you don't that is why for me because i can't get along with most of uh, the people in the corporate world and i'm not very much you you know me for ages that i give it to them on their face so i don't give a flying fuck so I did my own thing and uh, today I'm pretty glad I'm doing my own thing and you know that's where I am. So evaluate, write it down, the plus minus and if it really is unbearable then I think you should move on but if you can tolerate it and you know maybe because the perks, the benefits or the income or the salary that they're paying is good, take it as long as you can tolerate. At the same time look for other options and uh, one final thing is it would be nice for you to look into yourself and evaluate where are you fucking up? Where are you messing up? Where is it your fault? And maybe people will not tell you this directly, but whomsoever gossips about you, there is a, or spread rumors. Among all the fluff and the masala, there's a bit of reality. Speak to the people who are close to you, who know you very well and tell them, listen, don't give me stuff that is pleasing or that is nice. Give it to me on the face. What is it that I need to know about my personality which makes me difficult to work with or people do not like? And they will tell you point blank what you need to know. And that itself will help you evolve and grow. And remember this, as we get older, as we have priorities, you have seen me change. You have seen me evolve from being a single guy, playboy, 
to today being a family man settled you know uh, having a daughter priorities you've seen me evolve over the years i'm sure you have also done you will change to the next level when you start having a family when you start having children uh, when you take on maybe new roles responsibility or when you stay independent you know those kind of things and yeah i would just summarize by saying uh, it's high time that you realize that we we are getting older so there are things you can do there are things you cannot things you choose to accept to things you choose not to accept so you know like the prayer of serenity god help me change the, you know have the courage to change the things i can and um, yeah, you know wisdom to accept the things which i cannot uh, i know i'm butchering the prayer but focus on what you can change and what you cannot just you know forget it and yeah end of the day um, you know you have an agenda you have priorities you have a goal focus on getting that in the best way possible and rest life is too short just make sure that you're in a happy place otherwise you'll go mad i know you too well all right i hope this video helped appreciate the question i didn't respond to you immediately because i wanted to make a meaningful video this video is dedicated to you and all those creative people out there who find it hard to work with your colleagues and in the organization remember there's a whole world out there it's all about finding the right place the right fit and for creative people like you maybe you should report directly to the owner and only be close to a one man show because maybe creative people outliers can't get along with uh, the normal folks good bad ugly feel free comment down below this was my opinion let me know what is yours you guys take care and yeah got any questions send them to me uh, whatsapp or email or if you are part of my uh, groups and um, i'll see what i can do and um, i definitely read your comments you guys take care this is me signing off chal bye